He's currently Australia's number two professional eater. I don't know how you become number one. Do you eat them? Probably. Yes. There you go. Speaking of the other boys, let's get to them right now. I'll go down in age. Now I'll go to a 35 year old, ladies and gentlemen. Took our third place, so just got pipped to the post in the hot dog eating competition at Luna Park. Here's his quote for you. Because I am Vic the Magician, I will make three kilograms of masaka disappear. I speak, of course, with Michael Dunnison. Mick, you've got the support crew here today, mate. How you feeling? I'm feeling so great. So ready to go. Feeling so now, if I was to say Moussaka, surely you've made a few before, you've tasted a few before, or is it, or is it a bit new to you, a bit foreign? Never eaten Moussaka before. <laughs> Never eaten it before in his entire life. Fantastic. Well, why not eat the how many kilograms? Three kilograms. Of it. It's not a bad way to do it. All right, now up the end, ladies and gentlemen, the youngest of the bunch, he's green. As in, he's a rookie, but is he going to be green a bit later on? Uh, here's his quote. In competitive eating, I treat the food as though it's my worst enemy, and my mouth is what defeats the food in battle. I speak, of course, of Saron Thatch. How are you, Saron? <laughs> I am very cool, just like the other two competitors. Did you have any idea what Masaka was all about? Um, after a Google image search, I realised how good it looks, so hopefully the chance is, uh, is as good as it looks. So. Alright, spot on. Boys, you've got three kilograms of the stuff to consume. Alright, any last minute words? Any, you want to psych each other out, Mick? You want any last minute words, mate? Um, you're good, you're focused, Kay, you're focused? Good. Yeah, he's actually doing some mouth stretches, mouth stretches. And our rookie, our green man, how you feeling? You good? Ladies and gentlemen, count down with me. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's massacre! There you go. They do have the 12 unit time to beat. So if they can consume all three kilograms in 12 minutes, they will be deemed the champion. So it is a bit of a speed eating competition as well. However, if at the end of the 12 minutes, there is still food left. We will do an official weighing. So all three dishes have been weighed, and away they go. Can I talk about the stuff in the corner? Okay, I'll do it again. Now, ladies and
Our home stretch right here. He's pairing. He's got a bit of a system going on. He's got the water pairing in as well. I think you can see the home in sight. I reckon every piece of protein has to be gone out of that plate. Come on. Adjudicators, you might have to get in there and check out what this plate looks like. And also hit the pause button. Is Cal going to hold it? Is he going to retain his position as number two professional eater in the world? Has he just consumed three kilograms? He's going to be super close. That looks like a pretty clean plate to me. Michael's still in the hunt. But he killed Cal feeling very victorious at the moment. I think he's going to call it. He's going to call it. James, you want to step in, check out that plate for us? Is that all gone? Consumed. He's definitely done, boys. Hold the phone, we have ourselves a winner! What an amazing, we might have to count this as the 30 seconds, gotta stay in there. He's good, he's good. It is part of the rules. 30 minutes, 30 seconds from calling it. It has to stay in. I reckon we're 15 seconds, got 15 seconds left. We might do a 10 second count, what do you reckon? 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Hawk smash! He's got it, ladies and gentlemen, our winner! Yeah. Yeah. Wowee, the man indeed. Good up, buddy. Oh, boys, what an absolutely sensational effort. Keep going. You've still got Hammer Hell out of the four minutes or something. Keep going, mate, as well. Boy, boy, Cal, can you talk, mate? You want to try? Just give you a bit of a moment. I'll give you a bit of a moment, I think, right there. I know exactly how he feels. That'll probably be me tomorrow morning after my 40th tonight. So there you go.